going into Home Depot because we need respirator masks so we don't die of all the mold that's in the trailer. Impulses buys are not always good. There's a lot going on behind these walls that I didn't know when I bought it. You can either be sad about it or turn it into a fun journey. Let's go. So for the panels that we're gonna repair in the camper trailer that I ripped down, we're gonna go with this four by eight paneling. And it's kind of that like distressed light wood color that matches the laminate flooring. And then you're not gonna have to paint it. So you're gonna save a little time with that. And for 15 bucks, it's not bad. So we're gonna go with the spray foam insulation on the camper. And so Home Depot is gonna have like these smaller cans that you can get, but for a project that size, you're gonna wanna get the larger kits that come with the gun. So when I go to replace some of the one by three frame in the camper trailer that were rotted out, I'm gonna have to take them out and then replace them with um, treated wood and then to secure them to the frame, um, the metal frame of the camper, I'm gonna go on the outside of it and I can use these roofing screws that are gonna go in and the washers are gonna um, help protect it from any type of further damage. And there's a coating that's gonna help protect it against the corrosion that can happen on the outside of the trailer. All right, so if you're gonna be ripping out rotten walls with possibly mold and other water damage, you're gonna wanna make sure you're using some type of mask. Since we're gonna be spraying the, um, the spray foam insulation, I'm probably gonna go with this one. So this is kind of a professional grade and can be used for any of the toxic chemicals that you're gonna be spraying, which spray foam insulation is. Don't just use this. All right, you guys. So this probably could have saved me a lot of headache had I known they existed. So moisture detector, sell them at Home Depot. It's like 23 bucks and you can plug it to your phone and go around your uh, tiny house or RV and detect where any possible current leaks are or there's water damage or active leaks going on. So that is what I'm gonna do so I don't have to get up every single wall in, in the camper. All right, you guys, so to get the nasty paneling out um, and also to cut some of the rotted frame out of the camper trailer, I'm gonna use this Japanese saw, also a pool saw. And they have them at Home Depot, and they have the different sizes. And basically, you know, no electricity needed for this, pretty lightweight, easy to use if you're not used to cutting wood um, or using saws in general. Um, and this one's by DeWalt. And it kind of shows you the different stuff that it can cut through. So check back in, I'll let you know how it goes. So I didn't end up using the Japanese um, pool saw. Instead of that, we went with the Rotosol, which is electric and made it go much faster. Camper renovations. After ripping out the panels and the insulation, we realized that most of the rotting framework was on the perimeter of the back window and in the corners, and we identified some leaks that were coming in from the roof. Um, the rest of the framework, as you can see, is in pretty healthy condition, which is really exciting to know that we don't have to replace all of the wood that's in the framework.
So when you head towards the back of the camper, that's where the main bedroom is. When we first started peeling out the built-in bed, everything looked great. The 1985 golden carpet was amazing, super clean. Then we took out the nightstands. They were in the back two corners, and as you can see, that's where the water damage is. So we ripped out the insulation, ripped out the carpet, and we're doing the same thing we're doing for the front of the trailer. The sun's going down, and it's time for showers and dinner time. Next up, we're gonna be installing some of the new framework and then also spraying in our Tiger Foam spray installation. So if you're interested in learning how to do that or seeing the process that we're following for our RV, make sure you stay tuned. Thanks for watching.